And again, I'm fed up with this chat after games and people apologising. Harry McGregor talking about, we need to come together as a group. No, you need to sort your game out. If you're going to be the leader of that group, you need to get the basics right. Do your own job. And people keep saying, oh, he, he mightn't be fit. He mightn't be fit. He gave away a goal against Leicester a few weeks ago. Nothing to do with fitness. It was just lack of professionalism. Harry Maguire is somebody that I've talked about here on United People's TV for some time now. That video there from Roy Keane wasn't in reaction to the Atletico Madrid game last night. That was from back in October. This has been a problem that has been going on all season and is only getting worse. And like a, it almost feels like a Shakespearean tragedy at this point. I did a video on Harry Maguire a month ago saying that we need to talk about Harry Maguire. I did a video a week later saying that I personally was done with Captain Harry Maguire at Manchester United. And in this video, I personally feel like it's the end for Harry Maguire at Manchester United. That's how low it's got. And I want to explain exactly why in this video. So please, this, this isn't just, this isn't a witch hunt after an individual. I'm looking for a scapegoat oh, because we got knocked out of the Champions League. This is me being a realist as a Manchester United fan for something that's been going as, for a sustained period of time over the course of the entire season. And I just don't think that Manchester United can take it anymore. That's what I want to explain in this video. Please, if you would consider subscribing by the end of it and you, you agree or disagree, you let me know in the comments below. But let me get into this one and let me talk about it with you because if ever a picture was symbolic, that picture of Harry Maguire getting taken off by Ralph Radnick last night against Atletico Madrid and tossing the armband, as I said, for me, it felt like a bit of a symbolic moment. And I'll tell you what, Harry Maguire was jeered by the Old Trafford crowd. And rarely do Manchester United fans do that. You know, it happens. Of course it happens. But rarely does it happen. And for Harry Maguire, it's just the latest example in a string of performances where Harry Maguire has been a major part of the problem for Manchester United and how the game goes on. And last night in particular, there were two big moments that I want to focus on in this video. And as I said, before I get into that point, this, this is no witch hunt against Harry Maguire, all right? This is, this is an opinion that's been based not on a knee-jerk reaction to get knocked out by Atletico Madrid, but based on what I've seen all season long. And Harry Maguire, simply put, he can't be captain, he can't be captain of Manchester United anymore. These are the two examples that I want to speak to you about from last night. And I'm sure you've seen them already. Here you're looking at a defensive line of Manchester United. Tellez up there with Varane alongside Delo in a perfect line. And you can see Harry Maguire has aggressively gone up. Is that Hector Herrera number eight? I'm not sure who it is. But it's a very... Harry Maguire has been doing this all season long. He loves aggressively stepping up and trying to win the ball back. And for a man who basically has got no real physical game when it comes to recovery... It's a very strange thing for him to have done all season long. Now, this was the one where Koke found the ball through across there and it was squared to Joao Felix. He scored, but it was offside. Man United were lucky. Was that the last time it happened? No, it was not. This was the goal that Atletico Madrid scored. I mean, you can't see down here. Let me go full screen so you can. Diogo Delo is down here. You know, the line's not perfect there by any stretch of the imagination. Delo is too deep behind Tellez and Varane. But who is there again, aggressively pushing up? It's Harry Maguire doing it again. What happens? The ball gets played in between him and the fullback. Or was it, it gets played through there. It gets played through the space there. And Atletico Madrid go on to score from this situation. Two times where Harry Maguire did the exact same thing. Two times where Manchester United conceded goals. He's not on the same wavelength as that defense. He's doing what he wants to do. And he can't do what he wants to do properly. And this is what I mean. I repeat the fact that I am not, this is not a scapegoat. This is not a witch hunt. But Maguire, simply put, is not good enough to be Manchester United's captain anymore. It's the end of it. Game, set, and match, man. I was done a few weeks ago. Now it's just the end. There is no question that it has to happen. And it's something that I do want to say as well is that I've supported Ralph Rannick, and I think he's done, he's done a lot of good things. Uh, in his interim role as Manchester United manager. I think backing Harry Maguire is probably the biggest mistake that he has made. 
He's continued to stay loyal to a man who, simply put, has not performed at the level that he needs to. And when you were captain of Manchester United, and I've repeated this on so many different occasions as well, when you're a captain of Manchester United, you are held accountable to a different standard and a different level. And Maguire's just fallen short in every single aspect. You can rewind as far, you can rewind all season long, man. Harry Maguire at the Euros was fantastic when he came back for England. Harry Maguire for Manchester United this season has been gash. From that game against Leicester where he played there, that was sort of the beginning of the turning of the conversation with Harry Maguire, wasn't it? When he was played and he wasn't fully fit ahead of Eric Bailly, who was fit and ready, and we lost 4-2, and Maguire was, well, it was massively involved in, what, two or three or four, all four, maybe all four of the goals that we conceded. And last night, on the, on the grandest of stages, and this is why my opinion has changed, this was the grandest of stages, the biggest of moments. And he, with two separate moments of madness, and it's not just those, Harry Maguire's passing success was probably decent. It always kind of is. But for him to come up with these two moments of madness that cost Manchester United one offside goal, which didn't really matter, but the goal, the all-important goal that made the difference. I'm not sure about you now, but I've just I've sort of reached this point with Harry Maguire where I almost shudder when he gets the ball. I almost take a sharp intake of breath. And I'm just like, just just don't just don't mess it up. Just don't balls it up, please. And he does so often. First of all, you should never think that about your centre-back. Second of all, you should never in a million years think that about your captain. That is the opposite of what a captain should do. But that's the feeling I've got with Harry Maguire now. Just I tense up when watching it. And clearly the old Trafford crowd tensed up as well. He was, as I said, jeered when he was taken off. It was applauded that he was taken off by Ralph Radnick. Now, to his defence, you know, after seven minutes of slating him here, Harry Maguire didn't Choose the price tag. And I, this is this is not this is not the re Harry Maguire could have cost 20 million and I would still be having this conversation about him. All right. When we have been lucky enough as Manchester United fans to watch captains like Roy Keane lead by example, then the, the shortfalls of Harry Maguire become so much more apparent. They're being held to the highest of standards. Not these sorts of standards that we're seeing here, that we're seeing here that we're seeing here, that we've been seeing all season long with Harry Maguire. And it's just, Manchester United as a club, well, our standards have fallen so much that we don't know where we are anymore. Every year we have to have a conversation about a rebuild. And we were like, well, hold on, we were one central, we all felt that like we were one central midfielder away from competing for the Premier League. And now, halfway through March, our season is over. Simply put, nothing really is right with the club. And simply put, this man has to toss the armband away. And if he doesn't want to toss that armband away, the armband has to be taken from him. And I think if he was gonna if he was gonna toss it away, it would have been tossed by now. But Harry Maguire, as I said, if there's if there's a player that literally is making you shudder as a Manchester United fan, should he really be your captain? If there is a player that is consistently making mistakes, because it, that I could, if I wanted to, and I don't really want to do the research into it because it's, I know what the answer is. I could show you five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, probably more than that, different examples of Harry Maguire doing that across the season, stepping out from the defensive line, leaving a gap in behind that gets exposed. It's, the, it's part of Harry Maguire's game, and I don't really understand why, given that, as I said, his shortfalls are massively to do with his physical ability to recover. He should be someone that sort of sits a little, you know, tucks in. Should be Maybe he's getting inspired by Rafa Varane who's alongside him. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm massively confused. But one thing I'm not confused about is the simple fact that I would say it's the end for Harry Maguire as captain of Manchester United. Is it the end of Harry Maguire at Manchester United overall? I personally think that Man United have got bigger problems to solve this summer than to try and sell an £80 million centre-back and replace him i don't think that will happen this summer i think harry Maguire will be here next year and i think he'll be a better player next year if you take that armband away from him he is somebody look certain individuals in life they thrive in pressure situations certain that's the whole concept of pressure it's tough and in the the highest level in sport those situations are even more pressured 
Harry Maguire has not coped with that armband in any way, shape, or form. Solskjaer, we all knew it at the time. We all said it at the time. Solskjaer made a big mistake by giving him the armband straight away. It should not have happened, but it did happen. And what has to happen now is for that armband to be taken away from him. Because simply put, he's just not coped with it. He's just not coped with it at all. And look, I can go back to this, uh, these comments here from, uh, from Roy Keane that I played at the start of the video because they ring true. I'm fed up with this chat after games and people apologising. Harry Maguire talking about, we need to come together as a group. No, you need to sort your game out. If you're going to be the leader of that group, you need to get the basics right. Do your own job. And people keep saying, oh, he, he mightn't be Spot. fit. He mightn't be fit. He gave away a goal against Leicester a few weeks ago. Nothing to do with fitness. It was just lack of professionalism. Look, Roy Keane, as I said, is the marker for all of us Manchester United fans of what a captain should be. It's why we have so much respect for what he says about our current Manchester United captain. And simply put, it's the end of it for me. I'm, I'm starting to ramble on now. I'm, I'm a bit... I, emotional is the wrong word, but... The emotions that come from going out to Atletico Madrid in a frustrated fashion, it's going to make people start to want to point fingers. But as I said, this is not me pointing a finger for the first time this season. I can rewind and show you two videos there a month ago and three weeks ago. This is just an escalation of the conversation. As I said, first of all, I wanted to talk about Harry Maguire. Second of all, I said I was done with Harry Maguire. Third of all, now I'm saying it is the end for Harry Maguire as Manchester United captain. And the club has got to do it. Simply put, we're not going to move forward with Maguire as captain. You're not going to move forward if there's a player there where the crowd shudders when he receives the ball. That's not the th and if that's what we think like fans, what must those players feel? Now, I want you to let me know what you think about the whole Maguire situation in the comments below. Is this me overreacting? I don't personally think it is. That's why I was prepared to put this opinion on video. I want to know what you think in the comments below. As always, subscribe to United People's TV if you agree or disagree. But I really want to know what you think about this Maguire situation because for me, the end of it.